Hello? I think I don't know what, what what comp does it keep cutting to there? It keeps like as soon as I change change like screen for like a second, it shows a completely different background. What's hide it? What is this? The zoom and enhance, hang on. Am I gonna regret this? Oh, it's this. It's the old one. Okay, now we can get rid of that. Keeps trying to cut to that. I think that might be a problem. Anyway. Hello? Testing, are we all good? We all good? Joel, Ali, welcome in. How are you doing, guys? Hope you're doing well. How be things? How was pre-Friday for everyone? I hope it's been all good. Joel, fancy seeing you here, watching this stream we almost never missed. I know, right? Thank I do appreciate you both being around so much. It's good stuff, I appreciate you. Anyway, we're back. We're back with Dragon Age. Is it? Okay, thank god. After the first time I picked this up, I'm I'm constantly in paranoia, like, uh, just Dave Paranoia Land. Where I'm unsure if it's even going to register, register the game. Half the time. But anyway, we're okay. Um... As soon as we get in, could I can I find out if we're looking and sounding good? I assume we're all good on this menu. Um but anyway, um what was I gonna say? That's it, so we finished one of our origins last time. We beat I say we beat, but we finished Barrelwood's origin. And today we're gonna try and finish Caitlin's origin. Barrelwood and Caitlin being characters that I've made. Um we might even start going into a little bit of the proving with Caitlyn today, because I don't. I think it'd be weird to start the human one. Um, as I feel like Caitlyn's stuff will probably take most of today's stream, and I don't think it makes sense to make a character to then not play. Uh, for the like the remainder of the stream, so I think we'll we'll finish Caitlyn's origin today, and um, we will play it like that. I think. And uh, play a little bit into the, the the events that happen after the origin itself too. So, yeah, hopefully that makes sense. All the uh, like, I just need to keep saying in general though, I'm really liking this game still. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. I haven't really had too many issues yet. I think a lot of the things that people have been bringing up is like combat not feeling amazing. Um. In many cases, I've only experienced it a little bit so far, so I haven't really had enough time with it to figure that out, but um, all in all, I'm enjoying it. That's right, so for context, Caitlin is meant to be getting married today. Um, because in these elf communities, they have very, very uh, limited amounts of uh, I guess like ways of continuing a lineage because there's so few people in these societies and these little like communities um, which I believe are called an alienage if I'm if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to, trying to see how much of the lore I've retained but yeah no it's, it's interesting so far I like it I like it the elves are kind of free as well, question mark? Kind of free? That's fair, Ali, yeah. That's fair. I respect that. Is that a rat or a squirrel? That's a squirrel, okay. Never mind. Good day. I understand congratulations are in order for your impending wedding. Yes, indeed. Um... Oh, that's right. You're not wanted here. This is a private ceremony. And then you do the sassy, like, finger click thing. Um. Let's talk about your impending beating. Damn, what's wrong with Duncan? Thanks, but please go. I'd rather avoid any unpleasantries. You have business here. I feel like that top one might be the top answer, to be honest. At least in terms of how we're playing it. So again, I I've said this before as well, but each character I'm going to be playing will have, I guess, more of a... Uh, 
how do I put this? They can have a way that I try and play them. This character is going to be a little bit more mean, or at least a little bit more sassy with some responses. Um, too smart for their own good kind of thing is, the, I guess, the, the thing I keep describing them as. Uh, so I don't think the nice the niceties feel a bit silly here. That may be, but I'll point out it is being held in public. I apologize if my presence has caused a stir. All right, he's taking that well. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. Oh, okay, Duncan. But it's my wedding. Hmm? Let's start with your thrashing. Can we, can we kill Duncan early in the game? We rewrite the events of this entire game by killing off integral character Duncan. Is that something we can do? Fine, maybe we can compromise. I don't think a straight up like violence options the character kind that I'm going for either here. Uh, sure. Maybe we can find a compromise. Maybe pay me. Smile. She keeps her composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. It is good to see you again, my old friend. It has been far too long. Oh, they get on. That's chill. All right, Duncan's a good lad. He likes elves. Instant, instant brownie points for Duncan. Like he's uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. We like that. We love to see that. Does it like the rest of the world have like the? I guess what would it, I guess it'd be called Girl Scouts? Question mark. I've forgotten what the other. It, it's sort of like the equivalent of Scouts, but it's like, I and maybe it's it's they've merged everything into Scouts in general these days. But you had scouts, and then you had like, um, I guess like it would have been a lower, I, I guess it would have been girl scouts here as well, but I think it, there was like, there were stages before you hit scouts here, and it was called cubs and beavers in the, the two instances we have. Um, but yeah, it, I've forgotten, there was something else, and then you get brownies, and then you have girl scouts, I think. I can't remember, to be honest. It's been so long since I've had to think about that. But yeah. Uh, Gnostic Star, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um. No less human elder. May I present Duncan, head of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden. Hmm. What's a Grey Warden? Oh god, we gotta we gotta play stupid again. We gotta pretend we don't know what a Grey Warden is. I feel like Caitlin would know what a Grey Warden is though. Like do some means, so maybe we do that one. And why should I care? That's kind of it's kind of good. I assume we can do more on one of these, hopefully. The worst has happened. A blight has begun. King Kalen summons the Grey Wardens to Ostagar to fight the Darkspawn Horde alongside his armies. Yes, I had heard the news. Still, this is an awkward time. There is to be a wedding. The two, in fact. So I see. By all means, attend to your ceremonies. My concerns can wait for now. Very well. Uh, children, a good treat Duncan He's a good as my guest. And for the Maker's sake, take your places. Please, do not let me interrupt further. We shall speak more later. 
I like that you, the God is referred to as Maker. Do you think they were scared to say God? Or do you think they just wanted to have something that they could... Like, rebrand as, like, the universe's equivalent of God? Because on I, I probably believe it if somebody told me that, like, um... Like, the, the devs themselves were worried. It's the equivalent of God? Yeah, no, I, I sort of gathered that. I think it's more the case of, like, were the devs worried to actually say the word God? You know what I mean? Funny fact, the Asari call their God Maker in Mass Effect also. Oh, damn, do they? The more you know. I must have heard that, but I, I I have a gut feeling I might have blanked it out when I played Mass Effect. <laughs> something, something gives me a sneaking suspicion I might have forgotten. Or chosen to be uh, blissfully ignorant, maybe. Let's go with that. That's it, it was rainbows. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Gnostic. You're right. That was it. Oh, Soros. There you are. I was afraid you'd run off. No, I'm here. With Nella Ross's blushing bride in tow. You look radiant. It looks like everyone's ready. Can we still run? Can we still run away? Can we can we be gone? Can Caitlin get out? Let's get this over with. He's right there. He's right there. Would he really want to hurt his feelings like this? Good luck, Soros. I'm excited. I can't do this. Let's get this over with. If you mutter it, Caitlin, so that your betrothed doesn't hear, then that's fine. Go with Friends that. And family. Today, we celebrate not only this joining, but also our bonds of kin and kind. We are a free people. But that was not always so. Andraste, the Maker's prophet, freed us from the bonds of slavery. As our community grows, remember that our strength lies in commitment to tradition and to each other. Thank you, Valendrian. Now let us begin. In the name of the Maker who brought us this world, and in whose name we say the Chant of Light, I... Milord, this is... Milord? Uh-oh, not Sorry my Lord. to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party, and uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> All right, can we get him? Milord, this is a wedding! If you want to dress up your pets and have tea parties, that's your business. But don't pretend this is a proper wedding. Now, we're here for a good time, aren't we, boys? <laughs> Just a good time with the ladies, that's all. God, I hate them all. <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughan! Let me go, you stuffed shirt, son of a... Oh, I'll enjoy taming her. And see the pretty bride. Don't worry, I won't let them take you. Aw. I can handle myself. Honestly, that's that's definitely the response I'd give. I, I also ditto what's being said in chat. This prick. I do not like this man. This wannabe fuckboy. I can't. I just can't. He looks like someone though. I'm trying to think of who. It's like a... Like a frontman. Of some like group. He reminds me of someone. I can't remember. Ah oh, yes. Such a well formed little thing. You villains! Oh, that's quite enough. I'm, uh, I'm sure we all want to avoid further um, unpleasantness. I've got another bottle, mate. I'm gonna get you. Um. Take me, but let the others go. Let them go. You have no right. 
Don't you dare touch me, I'll kill you. That feels uh, honestly probably fair. I think that's a, a good response. And I think she would, honestly. I, I could see her doing it. Right, let's go let's go let's go full on aggro. This is gonna be the genocide run. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, this one has spirit. Oh, we are gonna have some fun. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> We didn't get our bottle. That's, I, I'm very upset we didn't get to bottle them. Oh well. Yeah. That looked like it would hurt though. I, I still love that one of the punches we saw in the, the dwarf us, campaign. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Stop it. You're driving me insane. Oh, thank the maker you've come to. We were so worried. Alright, we've come to... You guys okay? I think they're okay. That's a missing tooth, probably. Probably. Depend was he wearing any rings? We might also have like a a few like marks, maybe. Alright, that human dies. I agree with that one. Glad you've still got some fight in you. They locked us in here to wait until that bastard is ready for us. We need to get out of here. We'll kill the first human that opens the door. I'm sure he'll listen to reason once he's sobered. That's optimistic. That's ve that would be a Barold choice. Barold would pick that, but yeah. I mean, this one, this one is potentially a another pick, but. I also don't want to... Hmm. I think Caitlyn would be like... the person who's already plotting a way out, so I say this. We're five unarmed women! What makes you think we can kill anyone? Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Make her keep us. Make her protect us. Great. Now this again. All right, here we go. Right, we gotta. We gotta make the great escape. Does anybody have any spoons? We're gonna tunnel. The tunnel our way out of here. Right. Okay. Can I just? <laughs> she really doesn't. You're right. And I'm off. And I'm off. Okay. We can't lockpick them yet. That's fine. Look, we'll do what they want. Go home and try to forget this ever happened. She's right. It'll be worse if we resist. It'll be worse if we don't. Someone's coming. It's a really shit situation to be in, though. It's actually kind of disgusting. <laughs> Um they can't do whatever they say. Ugh, I don't like that. Be quiet, don't do anything till I say. Does that mean we can do the old uh, get the hairpin trick? Or uh the, the one to Kikaru. You know, both very... Very plausible things, no? Maybe? When the door opens, attack. Honestly, we could just do that. If you see an opportunity, take it. I feel like someone's going to try and preemptively run and they're going to get killed. So I almost don't want to do that because then someone else's like, life is on my... I guess my conscious, but at the same time, if I do, don't, uh, be quiet, don't do anything till I say, I could also send a bunch of people into their doom. And then I don't like either of the bottom or top choices, so I'm kind of stuffed here. Welcome back to me being indecisive for like the next minute or so. Um, no, I can't take that long. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking two as well. 
Arsenic, I agree. I think two sounds the best. Sort of means we have control on the situation. I think I'd feel more guilty if, like, I told them preemptively, just make up your minds when we can go. But yeah. You might get the option to not say anything. That's very true. That does give us more choices. I hadn't thought of that. The perfect game for indecision. That's right. That's what the third one's called, right? Dragon Age Indecision. I can't wait to play that one. Alright, I think we go to... Hello, wenches. We're your escorts to Lord Vaughan's little party. Stay away from us! <gasps> oh, okay. You killed her! I suppose that's what happens when you try teaching whores some respect. Oh, now, okay. You grab the little flower cowering in the corner. Horace and I'll take the homely bride and the drunk. You two, find the last one. She's the scrapper. Don't worry, we'll be perfect gentlemen. Now you heard the captain. Be a good little wench or you'll end up like your friend there. Oh, I don't like this. What's it? Just kill the person, that's kind of fucked. What happened to the elves being a free people? Hmm? I know that they're kind of like... cornered off and they're in their own little... Uh, closed off communities. With the humans coming in and out, but this feels a little bit backwards. And though that being said, the elves have always they, they seem to have always had some level of disrespect, right? Um Okay. I'm sure we can make a deal here. Yes, come close, I'll behave honest. I do kind of think that's a that seems like a potential Caitlin line. It's that or the third one. They're deaf second class citizens at the most, sadly. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That sucks. I've said this before as well, I'm not used to elves being smaller than humans. I think in every other game I've played or seen any, like, films or whatever that include elves and humans, they're either the same height or taller. So I'm still getting over the, like, the you know, vast differences with elves in this game compared to, I guess, the bigger fantasy construct, if that makes sense. So yeah, I, I like it, personally. I think that it's breaking the mold a bit, it's in, a, in a good way. Got ya, got ya. I like that it explains all of it, though, that's cool. Alright, I think we play into it and then we get them. I think that's the, that's the Caitlyn way. That's a good girl. Uh, hello? <gasps> oh, look at this! A little elfling with a stolen sword! <laughs> oh, sod. <laughs> oh, sod. I love it. They love the sod and sodding in this game, don't they? Right, combat basics. Do we have the sword equipped already, or do I need to equip it? We need to equip it. <gasps> we have a crossbow? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, elf fruit? Oh, sod. Gotta love the Britishness. I know, right? It's, uh, it's good. Oh, sod. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear more of the, uh, the, the, Britishisms? Question mark. Should we try going crossbow? I feel like we're gonna get absolutely dunked on here. But I kinda wanna give it a go. I guess ultimately I can swap out the loadout I wanna use, right? That's a thing. Um Sure. Mid conversation. All right, gonna get him. Oh, oh. Not bad. All 
Alright, can I run away and shoot from a distance? I can. Hopefully. Can I shoot from a distance? I can. Okay, perfect. Hey. Why can't you humans leave us alone? Baker, guide my arm! Ha! I hate this part! Alright, okay. You're holding up okay? He's doing fine. He's doing alright. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That went well. I can't believe they killed her. Are you alright? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Uh, I mean, we're, we're doing okay, even though we're now splattered in blood. Much like my, my PNG tuber. I don't know, at least we're on brand. Um... I'm always taking Mage on this game. That's fair. Mage, always, I, I've heard that a lot of people like Mage, to be honest. It sounds interesting, especially with the, the lore behind the Darkspawn. I could see that being a really interesting time. Uh, you tried most of them, but you prefer Mage as well as Gnostic. Uh, as well as, sorry, as well Gnostic, sorry. I try, I, I realise, hang on, is, is Gnostic a... Is that a... Is that a class? Did I miss that? Um, no time to talk. There's other, the others need us. My find is shaken. Nothing rattles me, you know that. I think that's probably the Caitlyn response. Is that or the top one? Thank the Maker. Hopefully, we can still save the others. That Grey Warden Duncan gave Nelleros and me his sword and crossbow, but that's all we have. Why didn't Duncan come? That's a good point. I guess he doesn't want to make enemies with this. He can't interfere, he said. Something about the Grey Wardens being neutral. Yeah, I assume so. Did you have to fight your way in? Did you have to do a Samwise Gamgee and fight your way in to find that all of the Orcs had already killed themselves? I still love that. That's such a dumb bit. <laughs> such a dumb bit, but I love it. He just shows up ready to fight and he just finds that they've all just already had a brawl. It's so silly. Lucky us, we have nothing to lose. Um, we'll grab weapons as we go. Nella Ross is guarding the end of the hall. Let's figure this out with him. We should hurry before something happens to the others. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, can I get any, like, improved loot from anything here? Uh, oh, I keep looking at this. I think <laughs> I'm so used to this not being my inventory and this being my inventory because of, like, The Witcher and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not looking in the right places. Yeah, can we not? Oh, we can't equip them anyway because we don't have enough strength, okay. But we can give them to our boy, Soros. Alright. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, How are we doing with, like... Okay, all of that's over there. You know what, I might... Can I remove an item from the, from the thing? Is that something I can do? I can. Okay, perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I do like this, like, quick use uh, bar a lot, actually. The more we're getting into it, the more I'm, I'm getting used to it and liking it. So, yeah, that's good. Good so far. Uh, Do we run with sword? I mean, I did kind of like using that, not gonna lie. As long as we send... Okay, if actually, if we unequip that, you've got no weapon at all, do you? Okay, you can have the sword. You can have Narsil. And I'll be... I'll be, uh, Legolas. There you go. Don't know why I'm already going in with all of the Lord of the Rings things today, but... Oh, and a mace, okay. And a dagger. Okay. Is this your first playthrough? So, um, it is technically yes, but I'm, what I'm doing is because I'm, I'm a bit indecisive. I've decided that I'm going to play through three different origins, like the very beginning areas for, um, three different characters. 
And then once we've played those three that I want to try out, I'm going to pick which one's my favourite. And then we're going to play that first. But I think if I end up liking more than one enough, I might do multiple playthroughs of this. Um, so this is our second one. The first one we played was a common dwarf um, warrior. This is a, uh, a city elf rogue. And uh, the last one we're going to try out is human noble. And yeah, I'm just going to pick which ones I end up liking. So... Yeah, so I technically it's my first time seeing all of this, but it's I'm sort of semi-familiar with the combat at this point. Uh, and we have modded it preemptively because I've had some warnings from a few people that it needed modding. So um, just for some like very very base game stuff. So yeah, yeah. That is the that is the rundown. Was it a one-handed sword? It was, wasn't it? I believe it's a one-handed sword. It could be wrong though. Modded what? So it's mainly things that make sure the game doesn't crash on PC. Uh, so like optimization mods, and there is a graphical enhancement mod, um, as well as like a UI mod. Uh, there's one for cutscenes that upscale them. There's a whole bunch basically that's just about uh, like quality of life things. It's nothing that's going to be sort of game breaking or unbalanced, and there's no like super super big added content. Um, but there is enough there to sort of just make sure that I get a uh, you know a pretty a pretty decent time out of this because I have heard that it's. Because it's quite old, it can be a little bit, a little bit like fighting a losing battle sometimes. <laughs> um, in terms of like crashes and stuff, but I'm being careful. Glitchy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it's nothing too bad, uh, well, nothing too intensive, I should say. Um, do I really want to be going in? Hmm. Maybe we don't go in with the shield? Don't forget to save. I won't. I won't. It's all good. I think I might run with that then, because it didn't seem to have too many penalties. I d the thing with equipping this though is our that's already just going up way too high. I wonder if we just do that. And we we demoted Soros there. Soros is no longer in his elf garb. Alright. I say we go with that then. Here we are. Here we are. You know, we played a modded version, so you're looking forward to see how this runs. Well, hopefully, I can showcase the modded version as best as I can. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, I, I honestly though, from like a first time playthrough perspective, I've really enjoyed this so far. It's been really, really good. Um. Uh oh. Shelves. Hello. What's this? I don't recognise you, Elf. Wait, is that blood? Your bandits, rebels, outlaws. The guards will make quick work of you. Oh! I'm good. You've no idea how long that Shem's had it coming. Hey. Yeah, you better take out them Shem's. <laughs> that was murder. <gasps> Not murder. Come with us, we could use another hand. Thanks, but no thanks. They'll blame this one on you. And I'm not pressing my luck fighting the guards. Honestly, for coward. <laughs> Kinda like that. Um. Yes, dragged them to Lord Vaughn's quarters, they did. You should hurry if you want to help them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm getting out of here before the storm hits. Elf is strange before the storm. And I 
I'm off. Some more elf fruit, very nice. That one was really bad, by the way. That that. I'm never making jokes again. You you can pro I'll make a promise. I'll try and never be funny again. I say try. Wasn't a lot of effort put into it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm gonna move on. Um, let's see. What else? Rat poison? Why would you want to poison my kin? What the hell? Not the rats, please. Kappa, what's the kappa for, Ali? I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Going. Are they sitting on any? I think they are sitting on a bench. I couldn't tell for a second. I love it in like big open world games where you just catch NPCs like sitting on nothing. You know, what I mean that's that's one of my favorite things to just walk in on. Where did you get a weapon, elf? Uh oh. You better talk quick, scum. <laughs> There's another sod. I was uh, he was. Oh, sod it. Found it nearby. I was bringing it to the armory. I kind of like that. I think that would be a, a slightly... Is that so? An unlikely story if I ever heard one. You maggots are gonna die slowly! Now, let's oh shit, run, run, run. Did, man, did, did you just bonk someone? What a lad. Alright. How's he holding up? Alright. Caitlin, how you going up? Okay, Caitlin's given up on the on the ranged game. Caitlin, alright, watch out. Alright, okay, okay. Um, 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 um. Toggle party selector. Oh, so that's how I toggle multiple people, okay. Um, is there a way to swap? What, what weapon I'm using? I guess I have to go into the inventory every time. Also, we can level up. Very nice. Very nice. Right, I think, honestly, the Caitlyn, we might just upgrade cunning. It's like a guarantee. We might just, like, always do, like, a couple into cunning. And then... Maybe something like... Maybe something like willpower, that might be good, or dex. Let's go with willpower, because I think we put one into dex at the very beginning. So let's do that. Yeah. I think I'm happy with that. And specialization at 714, okay. Cool. Uh, what other abilities? I think we probably want to do... Honestly, I kind of like the idea of like rushing can... Um, like yeah, the, the persuasion stuff, or the like the intimidation stuff. Just generally getting into people's heads and like trying to manipulate dialogue choices, as horrible as it sounds, I think that would be the kind of character I want to play. Um, that being said, trap making and herbalism sound kind of good, and so does combat training and combat tactics, I guess. Um, I think honestly I might I might get the ahead of the game with this early and I'm gonna do that and then for the time being uh, yeah I don't know if I have that out the way now I can then purely focus on the next few level ups being on like actually gaining some additional skills because I think trapping and especially something like combat tactics might be quite good for this kind of character too is just a good necessity to have, but I keep also forgetting that we're going to have other characters in our party later on, hopefully. Um, like, I was about to call him Boris, um, Soros. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I, I don't have to worry too much, right? I don't have to worry too much. I think, honestly, I'm going to get, I mean, it's the only thing I can get. 
but stealth. It's, yeah. There you go. Dumb. Dumb. There we go. Good stuff. All right. Huh. Show me what you got. Okay, we got a dagger. Can I, can I dual wield them? I can, okay. That might be why I wasn't doing so well on the melee front back then. That would make sense though. Um, yeah, I think that's all good on... Actually, can I do this now? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to what I got. There you go. Uh, you need to decide your weapon formation if you want to prioritize your skills early. Um, you're wielding long range for rogue. I yeah, I, I can sort of. I'm sort of getting a vibe for that. Sort of getting a vibe for that. I think dual wielding is definitely the way to go. Um, but yeah, for now we we don't really have access to a whole lot of other whole lot of other skills coming up that we could have got in its stead. But um, but yeah, no. I'll, once we hit that, once we hit that, I'll uh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's alright. I've got <laughs> I've got helpers behind this scene. No stick. It's all good. It's all good. I appreciate it though. I appreciate it. At the end of every stream, there is a pep talk. Uh, do we want a bow? I mean, is it as good as what we've got? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Where did the bow go? Am I stupid? Hello? Did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up, okay. No, I might as well just take it, why not? I can sell it. It's the age-old rule. If it, don't end up using it, just sell it. Just sell it. Oh shit! Okay. Go. 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 I'm shy. Go. Going. Oh look, it wants to fight. God, we knocked them down and their stuns. That is a terrible cop. Let's just kick them while they're down. That's, for That's it. <laughs> just for measure. Good stuff, good stuff. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're doing a good job. Okay. I actually find this kind of combat fun, believe it or not. I know it's not for everyone, but for me it's it's definitely not bad. <laughs> Kick and run, yeah, it's great. It's great. Doing all good. No? Okay, I can't talk to you, that's fine. Uh Ah uh, yes, look at this. We've got some very, very nice just things to, to wash down a nice meal with. We've got brandy, we got we've got more brandy, and we have rat poison. Why why are they are they in the same category purely because they're like good for like brewing or something like that? The ring? Yeah. The one ring? The ring of power. Is this one of the lost elven rings? Sorry, not lost, one of the hidden elven elven rings. Uh, can we can we climb? No, okay, that's fine. I should probably double check with tap. I think we're all good. Uh. Yes. Huh. All right, we're gonna get you. Right. Get kicked. Get kicked, man. I hope I don't <laughs> now you're stunned as well. Haha. <laughs> Got him. Oh, you know what? Actually, one thing we can try out, I did also get as a tip, I need to be brave. is we can, we can, like, do bonus backstab damage, or it's sort of like, you do a bit more damage from around the back. So 
So like when you're fighting someone, there's like a black indicator on like the bottom of their red circle, and that's like their back sort of area. And with that, you can sort of get like critical damage if you're like a rogue or something. And I'm off. Oh, this looks good. I mean, it's probably not going to help us much, but yes. I mean, I'll happily take all of these for selling purposes. Uh, anything else? I think that's all good. Uh, d -d 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 leather gloves, yeah. Alright, let's get... Good. Let's get some armor going. Okay, perfect. And then... Um... The one ring. I guess we could equip the one ring. Doesn't really do anything. At least we got technically married, right? We got the wedding ring. Imagine if this was an elaborate way to propose. The whole idea was you're meant to find the ring, doing this whole bit, and when we come out at the end, it's like a. I was about to say it's like an escape room. It's no, I shouldn't joke about that. <laughs> I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. Um, okay. It's a darker subject matter. I realise what I was saying later. Um, let's move on. You know what? I might see how he does in the bigger armor. He's probably gonna be a little bit like. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how he gets on. Uh, no difference in crossbow. I think they're the same. Oh, it's a two-handed crossbow. Oh, but both of them are. What am I saying, Dave? That is, please. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think I'm all good then. I don't think there's anything else I can equip unless I can equip this to him. No, okay. Now we're good. We are good. Right, there we go. Oh, that's another mod for context. Is you've got a mod that removes helmets and stuff like that. Uh, but still equips them. But that's just more of a... So we can see people talking, you know? It's more so we don't get to... Uh... Get a, you know, a blocked experience of someone talking or not. Saving game. Okay, thank you game. I'll do a quick save as well. Ray, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh oh. Alright, you ready? You ready? Soros? Uh? Here we go. <gasps> See? Our betrothed. Do more. Elves run in packs like rodents. Should we keep the knife here, bitch alive? They killed our boys. She dies. Surrender now and you'll live. We're gonna enjoy this. Stupid wench. We'll show you how men fight. Wow, you you pig. Alright, I'm gonna get you now. Oh for ruining my wedding! Behind you! You know what? Let's swap back to. Oh, I can, I can swap here. Okay, perfect. I didn't realize there was a way to swap. That's for Shiani. Nice try. Shit, is he dead? Oh, sorry, Soros. Soros, wake up. Nelorus. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Nelorus is no more. 07. 07, not the betrothed. We <laughs> died, we're alive, let's keep moving. Hmm. Died to save me, that's right. I <laughs> never wanted to get married anyway, wow. Um. 
both the bottom two are so heartless. I don't. Oh, I, I think it would be in character, but I don't want to say it. Yes, of course. All right. We should hurry before something happens to the others. Yes, we should. I agree. Oh, the wedding ring. He did have the ring. See, it was. Oh right. He was gonna. He was gonna try and get it to us. He's trying to gonna try and be Prince Charming after all. I am the highest tower. But the opening to Shrek 2 is still funny to this day. It's so elaborate and then he gets there and it's the it's the fucking wolf. <laughs> Just renting out the place or something. He mailed, yeah, he mailed miserably, apparently, was what I was going to say there. He failed miserably, he did. I failed miserably there as well, so that makes two of us. Um. Going. Right, we're going to swap out. Oi. And I'm off. I love this run. Right. <laughs> Actually, let's give him a kick. I saw a signature move there. Kick. Go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Okay. Move freely. I probably want them on move freely. Oh, I see. Okay. Is there a quick toggle for that? Oh, I assume that's going to be what that means, and then I can do... Ah, okay, I'm with you now. It's so I can select all of them at once and then change... Yeah, okay, that's good. I like that that's actually a thing. Okay. Right, there are some poochies in here. Get ready for poochie. Uh, you're doing fine, just got off work. Nice, nice. Well, hopefully you're able to unwind a bit, Ray. Gucci. Getting the hang of combat slowly. It's still not perfect, I'm aware, but I promise I am trying to learn. Lesser injury kit. Small amounts of health. Okay, that's perfect. Can I can't can I already give this to someone? Take or inspect, okay. <laughs> I read that as marabou crunch. God damn it, Dave, please. You guys interested in Marabou Crunch? Eapuchi. Pog does also apply to Poochie, I agree, Joe, I agree. Why did I do that? I, this feels mean at this point, can we just... Sorry, I didn't mean to let you out of the cage. I would have just left you. I would have just left you, but now I've let you out. I've got to do this. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. That's for ruining my wedding. I actually do feel kind of bad. <laughs> sorry, Poochie. Yikes. Yikes. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. I'm not gonna let you out. You can be free. Not that you are free, you're stuck in a cage, but 
in the future you can be free. Anything to loot in here? Okay. Books. Huh. Right, we'll do some codex reading in a little bit as well, by the way. I'm aware that we're getting codex pages. Some. Um, I'm just thinking of a, a good spot to start reading them is all. I'm aware that I might then miss context with things coming up more imminently, but I'm thinking more for the sake of like everything flowing. Time for more practice. We shut off duty guards are here. Watch out. Close. That was close. We nearly lost Soros there. I wish I were home in my bed. I wish I were home in what? Wow! Dying words. Dying words. I should be able to quickly do this, right? Give him these quickly. Okay, that gives him stamina back. Small amount of health. Alright, we'll give these to him then. You can have that. Lovely. Alright. Making good work of all these plebs, yes. that's for sure. Loads of money. L O D S of E M O N E. What's that spell? Loads of money. Probably. That definitely spells loads of money, do not question that. I love Harry Enfield though. It's a good skip. I love loads of money. It's a good one. It's this overly entitled idiot. He's got loads of money. Fucking, it's so stupid. And Very I'm funny. Off. Very funny. Ah. Uh. Right. Oh no, we've been stunned. Alright, oh, we, oh he got got though. He got got. Alright. <laughs> I'll do it. And then he does it. He got got. He got got. Soros. And if he called him Sodus. That would be fitting with the English theme, wouldn't it? Sorry, the British theme. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's right. <laughs> the thump sound effect is so good. I love it. Alright, okay. It's always like a comical anvil sound of something crushing someone. 
Great. I need to be brave. Let's do this quickly. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I'm actually finding this very fun, the combat. I don't know. I I, I think I'm really enjoying this kind of playstyle more than the one we were doing. Just because I think a it, it might also partly be because we um. We have like weapons to swap between. We didn't really swap between like kits or anything with um, with barreled. So maybe that's something to like see you. When when and if we go back. Uh, can we go in here? We can't. Okay. Are there any rooms that I've missed? I should probably also check that. The wielding road is your second favorite. It does seem pretty good to be honest. I do like the idea of having someone that's range and dual wield. So yeah, as Gnostic was saying, I think it's like a, it does feel like a very solid ground to be working with. Sounds like there's a lot of talk over there. We should be able to lock pick it though. Wait, can we? Can't unlock. He required. Okay, so we can't just lock pick it. Noted. Alright, we haven't done a quick save in a while, so I just want to do that for good measure. Oh my god, run. They knew. That's for Shiani. Ha! This isn't too bad. I'll defend myself if no, I No, wrong to. ones, wrong ones, wrong ones. Swords, 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 swords. But he's gonna get got, he's gonna get got. You know what, let's go in. Do the kick. That's it, kick him. Right, go, go, go. They have a crossbow at point blank, that's kinda... kinda relentless. That's pretty mean. Uh, you enjoy the powerhouse that is a uh, long range rogue. The mage will always uh, hold prize place in your heart. Honestly, totally fair. Totally fair. I think that's the reason why I love RPG, like fantasy RPG, uh, RPG games like this more than like, I guess other RPGs. I know that in other RPGs you will always have like s similar skill sets, but they'll just rebrand it as like a, you know, like a gun or, um, I don't know, like some kind of like saber maybe. If we're talking about a certain Star Wars franchise, instead of like swords and stuff. But um, I don't know, there's something about the fantasy aesthetic that really pleases me in the sense of like customization options because there's so much you can choose from and then put into like a playstyle. I always really respect it. I, I think that's the big reason why I love D&D so much. As well as things like Lord of the Rings and ultimately games like this and the, I don't know, everything where you can make your own like, make your own character, or, like, witness, like, I don't know, fantasy, I'm, I'm rambling now. I just really like fantasy themes, I think that's what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a big fantasy noid. I do like, I do like fantasy stuff. Um, so, is this the locked one? I have potato memory. That's the locked one, okay. Let's do a quick save as well before we continue. Actually, have we got any, like, loot I should be distributing? Um... Oh, same, Dave, I feel that, yeah. Me too, you're a big Vampire the Masquerade fan. I have never played a Vampire the Masquerade game. I'm aware that they're similar to... I guess, um... Actually, no, I don't know what they're similar to now I think about it, but I've seen gameplay of one of them, and it did look pretty fun, to be honest. It did look pretty fun. Who, like, publishes those games? Is it 2... No. Is it 2K? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. But I've, I've heard good things from a lot of people about Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, hang on. Is that just a, an iron ring? Alright, we're gonna have the gold ring. 
and you, you can dual wield the iron rings. Oh, the, the cheeky little necklace as well. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like everything else is pretty much the same. So that's 7 damage. That's 5 damage. Okay, in that case, I think I'm pretty happy with the, the loadout we've got then. Fine. That's all good. Right, okay, it looks like there's more stuff we can loot over there as well. Oh, it's Paradox, is it? Interesting, okay. Onyx Oath? I don't think I've heard of Onyx Oath. Are they like, uh... Are they known mainly for Vampire the Masquerade? Right, okay, got ya. Got ya. Was it, am I right in thinking there was a recent-ish Vampire the Masquerade game? Oh, Onyx Path. Okay, got ya. Got ya. Uh, then again, I still don't think I've heard of Onyx Path. Um, but yeah, no, I'm aware it's, um, a lot of people like it. It's, it's very RPG, which I always love to hear and see. Oh, we got some more health potions. Okay. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. So there's resistance things that we can apply later on as well. Lovely. Um, these are the lesser ones. They are. In that case, we're gonna. Wait, I was worried I was about to use one then. Uh. They do more. Alright, well, one of them's lesser, so we're going to give that to our poor boy. I guess I could just have all of them on the, the same bar, right? And then they just have to fight between them who gets what, but... Nah. Is that a game that runs somewhat, like, well on modern systems, Gnostic? Because I think I might own it on something. I might own it on GOG, because I think I did hear somewhere that that's a game where it can be a little bit hard to get it running sometimes on modern systems. Um, so GOG and places like that have made patches for it. That make it a little bit more like generally accessible to uh, working on modern stuff, but yeah. There's a PC game of it? Yes, okay, got it. Got yeah. Yes. Okay, we got a saving. I know that it saves the game, but oh, ow! Is that a fire poochie? We just got got Why by fire poochie. Oh shit, we're down. Uh oh. Let's end this quickly. I need to be brave. Shit. That was close. I think we might be dead here. I right, hold out a little bit longer. He really doesn't want to be here, does he? Poor Soros. You're not so tough. I really one thing I do really, really like are these little like finisher animations. Um that are going on. Like it's uh it's a good time. I it's oddly satisfying. Will do. Like they don't just like plummet to the floor. 
and just perish. There's actually like some, like an animation of them like dying. I don't know, it's like, it more just for the sake of like a little nod to detail, I like that more than anything. Um, but yeah, is that also 10 strength? Oh, it requires it. Defense is 1.5. Is it literally the same thing? It's literally the same thing. I'm stupid. Right, um, okay. Okay. Uh, can we, you're not. Yes. Hey, okay, any loot? Okay. Right, we're making good progress. This Poochie nearly got us killed. Fire Poochie, I can't believe it. Who's that Pokemon? It's Fire Poochie. Is that like a... You see this? There are a few like... Maybe it's just me being paranoid now. There are a few like cobbles that are like a little bit higher than the others. I'm now worried that just stepping on one's gonna get me killed. I really am paranoid because subsequently they've done nothing, but anyway. It's fine, Dave Paranoia. Dave Paranoia, it's okay. Okay. Going. My my what have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. What do you think that means? Uh, it means that we are very, very fashionable and covered in blood. I mean, look at my PNG tuber, it's also covered in blood. It's just the brand, actually. It's this pig here just doesn't understand modern art <laughs> in, in the human canvas form. I think holding tab reveal is interactive items. Yeah, I've been pressing it every now and then to indicate where it is we need to go and stuff. It's uh, it's honestly having a thing like tab that indicate what is interactive or not. I love it. I love it. Um, if you ever see me running around though looking, it's just in case I've missed anything. Because at a first glance, sometimes I will just miss it even if it's highlighted. Um, just as a heads up. But yeah. No, it's a nice little feature. I like it. Dave Paranoia. Listen. Listen, Dave Paranoia. Good stuff. All right, let's not be too hasty here. Surely we can talk this over. No, I want your head, nothing else. Yeah, I think that's pr pretty fair at this point. Hmm. <laughs> Please, just get me out of here. I want to go home. Think for a minute. Kill me and you ruin more lives than just your own. By dawn, the city will run red with elven blood. Think about it. You know how this ends, or we could talk this through, now that you have my undivided attention. Hmm. Do we feel it's a bluff? Off with his head, I kind of agree. Off with his head, he definitely deserves it. He's got a perfect collar, where it's essentially lining up where I want to chop it off as well. Yeah, you know I mean, you see that, that massive fucking collar he's got? That's exactly where I'm putting the sword. That, that's exactly the chopping place. Um, yeah, I want to get Shani out. Um, hmm. Last chance. Kill me and destroy everything you care about. Or hear me out and change your life for the better. But cousin, what if he's right? 
They'll purge the alienage again. Some things cannot go unpunished. You think they won't as it is after what we've done? Honestly, I think... Caitlyn would probably... Probably just kill them anyway. Because fuck it. <laughs> chop it off. Something else needs chopping off first. Very true. Very true. Okay, we'll do that and then we'll chop him off at the collar. Perfect. Perfect. In that order. Um... If you're sure, I'm with you. Tah! I always regret talking to knife ears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead. Knife ears. Ah! Right. Which one first? Right, okay, okay. Ah! Right. I'm gonna get you. Ah! Right, you're gonna get got. You're gonna get got. Go ah! Ah! If you insist. So tough. How are you? Shit. Sir, please be careful. Good, he's dead. Good. We didn't get a chance to chop it off, sadly, though. Right, Lord Barden, more like more. dead. He's he's dead. <laughs> didn't even say Lord. Tell properly. me, we did the right thing, cousin. Lord, Lord dead. I got him good there. I know, right? Knife is. How could they? Lord died then. Exactly. Lord died then. We got him good. We got him good. It's a little late for regrets. He forced my hand. I hope you're right. I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. Alright, that went well. Shiani, do you mind waiting for a second? I'm very- I- it's- I've got- I've got, I've got a- I said I was gonna chop something else off of that guy. It's uh, it's important to me. And I'm off. Uh... You know what, those might actually be pretty good. Okay, well that already sounds a bit better. Uh, there's not really a lot of... Reduces hostility. Oh, okay, I equipped something that was worse there. These are about the same, but I think that's fine, we'll go with that. Shiani should get that honor. Or I think she's a bit too mortified after what's happened today. I think I think we'll let Shiani rest. D don't leave me alone. Please. Please take me home. Oh. So much blood. I, I can't stand to look at it. It's everywhere. You killed them, didn't you? You killed them all? Like dogs. I don't know if we want to be bragging about that. I did what had to be done. I think that's the more diplomatic one. Not just them, all humans who hurt you. Honestly, not a bad one either. Good. Good. All right. Excellent. Uh, is she going to be all right? Yeah, I was gonna say like, she was the one that like proceeded with the you know, the bottling, right? So to then have 
her sort of reduced to this because of what happens, kind of puts in perspective, right? I'm interested to see. Hopefully we'll see more of these characters. That's the one thing I will say from um, the Dwarven side of things. Um, I wonder if we'll ever see what happens with everything in the, like, Dust Town again. Like, if we would go back and we'd see, like, the characters we met at the beginning develop and grow. Or if we're limited to everything post that. Uh, you thought this was well done, but it can be hard to portray in a video game. Honestly, I still I get it though. I do get it. Like it's, it, I think it it's more it's just not quite as dramatic and like handholdy and forcing it down your throat in terms of what happens. Like, you know, it, everything's implied, and you can pick up the pieces from that, right? And I think that's still pretty cool. Not the situation Johnny went through, of course. Shiani went through. But, um, but at least, like, I don't know, seeing that level of character development. And I guess it's it's not technically development then, though. It's sort of like ongoing character trauma and how it's affected them. Shiani's strong. She'll recover. Yeah, she'll recover. Uh, we should go. Soon. As in now. I'll take the rear guard. I can't wait to leave this place. Alright. We're out. You've returned. Has Shiani been hurt? Where is Tormi's daughter, Nola? Nola didn't make it. She resisted. <laughs> they killed her. Nelaros, too. The guards killed him. I see. Would the rest of you ladies please take Shiani home? She needs rest. Of course. Now tell me, what happened? How cocky do we want to go in with this? And the garrison could already be on their way. You have little time. Perhaps we should find uh, try to find the Dalish. Hmm. Suddenly we morph into Wood Elves. Thoughts. Um. Oh, that it has come to this. The guards are here! Already? Don't panic. Let's see what comes of this. What is everyone's mode down? I seek Melendrian, elder and administrator of the alienage. Uh, here, Captain. I take it you have come in response to today's disruption. Don't play ignorant with me, elder. You'll not prevent justice from being done. The Earl's son lies dead in a river of blood that runs through the entire palace. I need names, and I need them now. Uh, For a second I thought I said it was Soros. I didn't read that anime, but I was about to say, damn, can we just dob in? Dob in our cousin? Do you imagine? Um... I think we stay silent. I think that's what Caitlin would do. They were told to stay silent. They would want it to blow over and get away if they can. Handing themselves in. I don't know. I don't think they're like horrifically noble as a character. So I don't think they just hand themselves in. I don't know. We'll go with stay silent. I'm afraid I can't help you, Captain. You know the tales they tell about the Arl's son. I'm sure you can guess what happened. I know that no matter what happened, it has gone too far. 
Your silence puts the entire alienage at risk. You there, Grey Warden. Tell me what you know of this knight's foul deeds. I have nothing to say, Captain. Then I'll ask one more time. If anyone here knows who murdered the Arl's son, speak now and save yourself a lot more trouble. Oh god, okay. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I love that they're literally looking at us. Can we talk about that? This guy is engaging in eye contact with Caitlyn. Like, if anybody has anything they want to say, they want to come forward, please say it now. Wink. Directly looks at Caitlyn for, you know, the next minute and a bit. She's hella armed, it is true. She's brandishing a crossbow and two knives for no reason. Um, I think he stays silent. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to mess it up for everyone. Okay, if I come forward, if I come forward, I th is it safe to assume Duncan will save me? I don't want to meta game this, but it's safe to assume that I think Duncan will save me. So, I don't know, second time's the charm. I think that we'll do it. Are you asking? No, I, I, I for this one it's hypothetical. This one it's hypothetical. I want to see what happens anyway. You expect me to believe one woman did all of that? We are not all so helpless, Captain. You save many by coming forward. I don't envy your fate, but I applaud your courage. This elf will wait in the dungeon until the Arl returns. The rest of you, back to your houses. Captain, a word if you please. What is it, Grey Warden? The situation is well under control, as you can see. Be that as it may, I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this woman into my custody. There we go. <laughs> It felt a bit meta gamey, but I knew it was coming. I did. I had a sense. I had a sense this might happen. Even the guard knew it was a shit. I, the guard seems a lot more reasonable than most of the humans we've met so far, other than Duncan. Save you, yeah, I know, right? I know, right? Um. Hear that? You can't touch me. <laughs> Son of a. Very well, Grey Warden. I cannot challenge your rights, but I'll ask one thing. Get this elf out of the city today. Agreed. Now I need to get my men on the streets before this news hits. Move out! All right. You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. All right, very well. You don't have to do this. I'm safe now. For the moment, they are fine. There are far more important matters arising that endanger more than just your people. I needed a Grey Warden, and I found one. That conscripting you saved your life is only circumstance. You did what you had to do to accomplish your mission. We need people like you. Now quickly, say your goodbyes. Your life here is over. Um. Okay. I say goodbye to my <laughs> my departed um sorry, my deceased betrothed. Is that something I can do? Ali, what's that emote? Little little blushing duck, ooh. -oo. Um Well, I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. <laughs> can he move? Can can you I'm trying to have a conversation here. Yeah. Can you Soros, can you can you fuck off for a minute? You were the reason he came here. <laughs> Perhaps it's for the best. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one. And make her keep you. Alright, fine. Soros, as you so eagerly want to be in this uh, conversation with me. Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. I 
I feel like it just gave up my life. What will you do now? Don't mention it, I think, is probably the thing. Still casual, even now. Mm-hmm. I wish I had your nerves or skill or, well, anything. No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Your father had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? I don't know. I can't face her. What the... What? No. Okay. Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. Well, became official. All right. All right, let's go. Is there anywhere I can loot from? This is a shop. Can I get anything in here? You should go quickly. Just know that we're all going to miss you. Oh, that was nice. Also, probably quick save quickly. Is there anything else I can I can see before I go? Can I get more of this? Hmm. If this is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. And they're right. In a bit. You're not pleased? I just wish there was another way. I dreamed of grandchildren, family gatherings, and... I'm sorry this isn't helping. Take care, my girl. Be safe. And wise. And, well, you know, we'll all miss you. Aww. I do like how much of a tight-knit community this is. It is, is kind of cute. I don't know, even though they're very clearly very oppressed and... You know, like, things aren't perfect here. It's clear that everyone here is very, very... I don't know, everyone gets on. It's almost kind of Shire-like community. I don't, not that it's, like, exactly Shire-like, but... I think it's more the, the element of they don't know outside of their own walls kind of thing, and everyone sort of knows each other. It's, it's I guess, more that side of things. What has happened in here? Um, has the apocalypse happened? Hello? There you are. Thank you. Um. For me, for Saurus, for everything. Uh-oh. What, what's happened in here? Uh... Um, mod? Hello, is it the mods? Uh oh. About those HD mods that I installed? Yeah. I will, I swear it. Shiani seems to have regained herself. I'll leave you two alone. Good luck, and thank you again. Hey, no worries. Thank you for taking care of them. I'm going to very quickly try and fix that. And hopefully that is not a permanent bug. Oh, it's a bit better this time. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold. 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 Um, sure. It's slowly rendering in. Oh, oh. This room's okay. Couldn't render, maybe? I think it's still struggling to render, to be honest. Having a hard time doing something, that's for sure. Um... You took all the responsibility <laughs> for what this? happened. <laughs> You're amazing, you know that? Fine, we'll move up. We'll be out of this room in a minute. It's fine. It's fine. There's just one room. Yeah, I think so too. I 
got my reward, I'm leaving this hole. I have to leave soon. Just did what I had to be, yeah. You always do. They'll write legends about you someday. Aww. When the world was at its worst, there you came. Fire in your eyes, like something out of a storybook. I'll never forget that. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Make us proud out there. Alright. Enough with the mushy stuff. Silly woman. Then get going already. Aw. Okay. Don't don't spend the rest of eternity in texture limbo, please. Please touch them touch them on oh my Oh. Oh. I was gonna say touch some grass. What is this? Who's this character? The plot thick who's this character? The plot thickens? Okay. Sorry, let's, let's leave there and never come back. I would do the golem voice, but I can't today. Is that everyone? What about these? Maybe this will be for the best. Yeah, I think so. You'll do good out there, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, but everyone. I'm sorry I got some poor dude killed. Alright, well. Here we go. This is it. Oh, we can level up. Um. Okay, what do we want to do? Uh. I say we already hit cunning 20. I feel like magic is always a no-go. Maybe a constitution, just because we haven't really done anything in that. And maybe a strength. We might just fill in the gaps here for this one. Cunning and dex. I was, part of me was also thinking dex, but... I think I want to try and get strength up a tiny bit. But maybe it would be better to get dex up early game. Or like sooner than later. Actually, you know what, let's do that because it means I'm more likely to dodge, right? I think I, I'd be, I'm happier knowing that I can dodge stuff. So I might, I might literally just put cunning and dex as the main two. And then occasionally constitution and uh, willpower maybe. Strength I might do occasionally too, but only occasionally. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, I can't currently get anything, so I will hold off for now. Yeah, we don't have 12 decks, otherwise we could have done... We could have got some of these, but we don't yet. So if I just do play, does it keep the talent for next time? Like, it's not going to just get rid of it. It will give me more than one to use next time. At least I assume that's how, it's work how it works, right? That is a question for chat, by the way. I assume they stack. I'm not going to lose it later. Because otherwise I probably would pick something else. Um, so I can't currently use any talents. Uh, but would I be able to like come back and use this later when I hit level 4 for example? And then have two talent points as opposed to one? It isn't just going to lose it. Okay, it, it keeps it perfect. Perfect, that's all I needed to know. Thank you very much. Thank you kindly. Alright, oh we got a tactic slot as well, perfect. All right, you know what? I'm gonna swap over to that as well. All right. Are you ready to go? Uh, I am. Let's go. Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. Excellent. Excellent.
I should also promote I'm being very quick with we will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the turn around at the moment on, the on YouTube of the wilds. so the these should be coming out the day after they Austin go live now ago to prevent the wilders from invading the northern lowlands it's fitting we make our stand here even if we face a different foe within that forest the king's forces have clashed with the dark spawn several times but here is where the bulk of the horde will show itself. There are okay. only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a, a royal welcome. I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Here Not he is. if I could help it, Your Majesty. King Kane. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh, there, friend. Might I know your name? Can we skip the introductions? It's been a long trip. That's definitely the Caitlin. The Caitlin response. You like Kalen? Honestly, I think I need to see him in action or him doing a bit more so far. He feels very laid back. I think I I was talking about this off stream. I might have said it on stream as well. But Kalen feels very nonchalant about a lot of the things happening in the world at the moment. Like he was like, oh, this isn't the war I wanted, right? I wanted there to be glory and evil demon gods or whatever, right? And that makes me worry a bit. It makes me worry that he's a little bit too bloodthirsty. I don't know why. I get weird vibes. I get weird vibes. But I, he seems chill. He seems like a nice dude. He's a little... Uh, yeah, no, I totally agree with that. I totally agree. Yeah, he's... um. I don't know. If the golden armor didn't sell it, he's a golden boy, that's for sure. I remind you that you speak to the king of Ferelden. Don't worry, Duncan. You must both be eager to reach your tents. Uh, have you any news before I go? Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters and tomorrow should be no different. I'm very confident of that. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> Duncan's I'm like, fuck sake, Your Majesty. Please stop. Quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Logain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Good hustle. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yeah, you don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Hmm. You could if he was not such a fool. You must not speak of the king so. <laughs> he is over eager, perhaps, but he is also one of the few Grey Warden allies. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. I see. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. Very well. Very well. I love that Duncan's whole vibe is I will not get angry at anything. 
I will literally just stay calm. He's like, no, please do not say this. You may not shit on the king, even if I do agree that he is a little bit eccentric and overly... Overly, uh... <laughs> overly just not caring. Yeah, he's kind of cool. I do like Dunkey. He seems like a good character. He seems more kingly than the king, you know what I mean? I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. I see, okay. Wonderful, let's get this over with then. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Alright. We did it. We're conscripted. We did it. The game has officially opened up. GG, we did it. Should we have a little look around? Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna beat you to your tent. Got him. Can we... No, okay. I was curious about if we could actually fall down anywhere. Can you get environmental kills in this? Like if, um... For example, if I shield bash someone, would they fall off a cliff if they were next to an edge? Is that a thing that can happen? Is the back of Caitlyn's thing not rendered in properly? Or is that just how it looks? Not in this game? Ooh, okay. The future Dragon Age games then? Hmm? Hmm? Honestly, I think I'd, I'd be willing to play more than one Dragon Age game on stream. This one's already been a lot of fun. We're barely into it as well. Yes. I talk about it like it's over. We're nowhere near done yet. Soldier, hello. First class. Make her watch over you, my lady. Yeah, we barely scratched the surface so far. I've got soul, but I'm Make her watch over you, my lady. I'm not a soldier. <gasps> Looting time. Going. All right. Is there a sprint key? Is it like a walk key? And that sounds kind of weird to ask, but is there a key that allows me to immersively walk around? Some elf root. There's a chest here as well. Okay. Soldier. Make her watch over you, my lady. Wow, everyone's not an absolute dick here. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That I can't help you with. You're on control, that's fair. But can you walk in this game? Is is there like a, a way to walk as opposed to like... I guess jog. Like we're doing currently. Uh, is there anything else I can do? Just looking around the camp for now, just a bunch of soldiers. You don't think so to be honest? That's fair. That's fair, I was just curious as all. Uh, any hidden loot precious, hmm? What's loot precious? What is it? Yeah, that's a good point. That's very true.
Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. That is me, hello. Thank you for being nice and not an absolute dick straight away. I like that. These are some very elaborate tents. I was worried that a texture might be broken for a second. I don't think they are. These textures that right, yeah? They're not they're not more funny textures. Now whenever I see purple I get worried. They are, okay, perfect, okay. So, any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some dark Maker above, hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste now beg your forgiveness. Do not abandon us in our darkest hour. And now Watch over the valiant King Kalen and guide him as he faces this terrible evil. Watch over Terran Loghain, and give him the wisdom to bring us victory against the Scourge of Shadow. Watch over Ferelden, the homeland of Holy Andraste. Keep her people safe from the Darkspawn. Let if you'd excuse me, we are praying. Oh, sorry. Very sorry. Praise be. Praise be. There's Dunk. Dunk is just looking intently at the the fire. Can we <laughs> the fire cubes? I love it. I love it. I assume that's just a case of it being at range. It's like, oh no, it is just QB. Okay, that's fine. Let us consider the evil before us. In their pride, the mages of the ancient. Hey, Pucci. You there, elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go Pick. tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. We must see to our hounds. To an ash warrior, a hound is as much a weapon as a blade. Very well. The ash warrior leader. I right, unlock this as a joke. It's a little prank. He required, okay. Hmm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. Uh... I don't know anything about dogs, honestly true. It's not what you know so much as what you are, really. This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Just how smart is this dog is a very good question. Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Re-imprinting them is very difficult. One master. Without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? Um, I'll give it a shot. Go in the pen Why not? Smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Oh, we don't want that. Okay. Um. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> okay, the game is having some moments of uh interesting. <laughs> Kill the dog. What the fuck? No, we're gonna muzzle the dog. That's death not right, okay. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It looks like it's wearing leather armor. Well Did you see that? Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Uh. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. Oh, it's yeah. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Yeah, there's some funky stuff happening with the textures today. I might have to uninstall um, the HD mod, potentially, or at least see if there's something clashing. 
this, this isn't right, is it? Like, <laughs> it keeps cutting between things. Um... If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. Oh no, okay, we need to get this then. Let's see if I can Good. climb one. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Alright. Well, please take care of them. I wish to attempt to uh to fix this. Uh you do a new Perfect. Alright. Well, hopefully we won't get as many texture glitches the next time. I don't know what's happening with that dog. You seeing that? It's like they enter Mortal Kombat mode and you can see their skull. It's kind of weird. It looks like there's like just a bunch of things clashing and conflicting. I don't really know what's up. Kind of weird. Poochie indeed. Poochie indeed, I agree. Okay, well anyway, that is it for today. Thank you for watching everyone, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, good stuff, we made some good progress. We will be starting... Um, when will it be? Tomorrow is Final Fantasy Day. Just as a heads up, so we're going to be going back to Final Fantasy VII Remake tomorrow. Um, just because I still need to finish that up, so we're going to still allocate a day a week to that. Um, so yes, we'll be doing that. I think... <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. I think that we'll be doing uh, the final... at least starting the final Dragon Age Origin Origin uh, on Sunday, and we'll be playing the Human Noble. And then after that, uh, I might even make that a longer stream just so we get it out of the way. Um, but we'll see. Um... But yeah, after that we'll be getting into the main bulk of the game properly with whatever character I pick. So, we'll wait and see what happens. But I appreciate everyone being here today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Joel. Um, scroll up. Uh, thank you, of course, Gnostic for hanging around today. I appreciate you. Thank you, anybody else that's been by today at all and lurks as well. You're always appreciated. Um, yeah, I will be back tomorrow. So, I'll see you then. Stay tuned. Good night.